Hi guys, in this tutorial I want to show three or maybe four ways, let's see how it goes, uh, of creating a drop down menu animation. I didn't put a lot of emphasis or I'm, let's say I'm not going to put a lot of emphasis on the design itself. I mean of course in your designs you can decide um, how your components are going to look like. I mean the drop downs themselves, if they're going to have round corners, any colors. I don't know anything that you just have in your design so it doesn't matter that much we'll just show the techniques and the logics of how to create these um, drop down animations so we're talking about something like that I call it mouth opens it's just a names that I mean names that I gave it <laughs> it's nothing professional okay uh, so it just reminds me a mouth that opens like similar to Jafar's that we saw before something like that uh, the elevator when I click on it so it just opens like that and elevates up <laughs> so I call it like an elevator and kind of like a more of a flashy one that will do something like that okay okay so uh, let's see how to do how to create this and uh, all the more right to say these animations uh, by the way if you are not familiar with um, components and variants I do suggest that you see uh, my other tutorials about that and learn a bit about more because I am going to use components and variants we're going to do interactive components um, any animation that I do here can be created also between frames uh, meaning between screens uh, but uh, in this tutorial I'm going to work with interactive components so let's see how to start creating that I will start uh, building the uh, drop downs and let's start for something uh, from something really simple so I'm going to show as I said a few ways um, let's say that I do something like that 260 or 70 okay good I'm gonna do something really quick and easy just to show you the uh, how to do it with the interactive components and then we will do it um, in a more kind of like a, not complicated but you know kind of like more in an advanced way so in a in a really simple way let's call it a menu item and uh, the menu item actually I'm just thinking of how to do it uh, even easier you know what okay let's do a menu item and I will just give it a text of a how not menu item <laughs> something like that okay and uh, I want to do th this pointer I want to put it in a frame better like it should be uh, 24 yeah, we can do even I think 28 yeah that's okay so I'm gonna do this one actually um, let's call it a drop down pointer um, slash this is going to be you know what I'll give them the properties soon so that's gonna be a, a drop down pointer uh, I'll give it a fill color and make it round like that and um, yeah, I guess that's okay something like that yeah that's good it can be a bit bigger maybe you know what let's give it kind of like a that's too big something like that something like that yeah that's okay okay so uh, now I will create another one which is going to be its hover um, something like that that's gonna be uh, EC 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 that's fine by me and uh, I want to duplicate them both and do uh, this one actually flipped like that because I'm gonna use these I guess I'm gonna use all these uh, states or situations uh, yeah, I think it's okay let me just arrange them and do a component set so this one actually I'm gonna give it another property I mean this is a drop-down pointer that's the component that holds all four of them together 
and this one is going to yeah it gives me this uh this message because all of them actually are at the same uh, they have the same name now and of course it cannot work as variants they need to have different names um this is going to be actually the uh and yeah, i will call it pointing and the other property add new property i'm going to call it um hover okay pointing up no actually it's going to be the let's see how it goes uh, so this one is going to be pointing down and hover it's going to be no and this is going to be down and hover is going to be yes okay and this is going to be up over no and up over yes yeah i think that's okay okay good so yeah i'm gonna see how to use these situations when and if i need to so that's good so let's put it let's put this one here uh, we have down up and we can turn it on and off good okay so this is my menu item um, I'm not gonna do a hover stay to it now let's see if I will do it later if I want to um, okay so basically uh, what I am going to do is just duplicate them let's say six times yeah six is okay and uh, I'm just going to make it a component. Yeah, I will make it a component and I will call this component a, a drop down mouth opens. <laughs> it's a drop down menu, but that's okay. Just let's uh, kind of like to the, you know, to make the difference between them. And I'm gonna. Yes, we don't need these here, so I'm just gonna shut them like that. Um, and the last one is here. Okay, good. So this is uh, a component that holds uh, this one. And actually, we can name this one expanded. Okay, and now I'm gonna make another variant to it, clicking from here. I'm gonna show it again. Sorry, I did it quite fast. So I'm selecting this component and I click here to create another variant. Now I want this variant to sit beside it and not below it, Just like that. I will switch between them like that. Um, and I will give it a name of a collapsed one. I'm gonna make the collapse uh, state right now. Um, so I'm gonna call it collapsed. Okay. And uh, by the way, this, the expanded, I wanna have it pointing up. Good. <laughs> so I'm happy I did that. Yeah, that's good. Uh, of course, that's the way it should be. And what I'm doing now actually is I am, sorry, I need to click the content here and here and now I can just collapse it like so. So we have the two states and what I did here uh, in a simple way, I just made the frame uh, hide uh, the other ones, okay? The other um, menu items that we have here. I'm just gonna see it open up and down. Uh, of course, I am going to go to a prototype mode. I will uh, let's say I want to connect the first one, this one, no, let me see, it's going to be, oh, this one now sits at the end and this is the beginning, okay, so, uh, by the way, it's not good, okay, I'll arrange them later, um, so this one is going to be not by dragging, sorry, I'm gonna, Okay, so now I'm gonna connect it here and on click, smart animate, um, I guess, I don't know, 300. Let's see if it's too slow, we can make a difference. And now I'm gonna select this one, which will bring me back to 
here. Okay, good. So let's make a frame that we can see these drop downs actually happening. Um, let's give it a background. Yeah, we can give it like that. That's okay. And I'm gonna drag or just copy Control or Command Z. I'm gonna select this frame and Control or Command V, and I have the drop down here. Okay. Uh, let's give it a play. Oh, I didn't know. I don't know actually which one of them I did. Yeah, that's okay. So, okay. So now I'm getting something like that, which is pretty simple, straightforward, works beautiful, really quick and easy. Okay, something like that. It has a small gap here. I see that when it opens, let me see, expanded. Um, actually, I don't see this thing here. <laughs> I don't know why does it do it. That's an actual size, 100%. Um, yeah, but it does give kind of like a gap between them. Let me see. Hmm. Okay, no, I want to see it here. You see, zero space. Zero space. They all have zero space between them, but still we see it like that, which is a bit weird, I guess. <laughs> I don't know why. But, uh, yeah, that's the way it happens. Let me see. Yeah, let me do it again. <laughs> Play it again. Um, yes, sometimes, yeah, Figma has these small kind of like fallouts that you don't, you can't really explain. Yeah. I don't know, it's weird, it shouldn't be happening like that. Oh, what I need to do is, yeah, sorry. Uh, let me see here. Um, oh yeah, the, the feel of the frame actually, it shouldn't happen anyway, but let's say now I'm turning on the feel of the frame so we shouldn't see it, now it should be okay. Anyway, but if we do want this these strokes, we can uh, actually turn it off. So. Let me see here. So we have a very easy animation that happens like that, which is good. The other way that we can do it, this uh, simple one, we can arrange it a bit different. Meaning, let me see, this is, see this is something that Figma does, which I don't really understand, kind of like, even when you do an auto layout, it makes the uh, frames um, kind of like in the opposite logic direction because I duplicate them one below the other and now the first one is the bottom one. It's a bit weird. So I'm going to change the direction. You know what? I need to give them names because if not, I will never be able to understand <laughs> what is actually going on here. Let me see. Three... Yeah, it's easier to work like that, honestly, with names. I just uh, kind of like didn't put any attention to it, but I mean, the right way is to work with it like that. So this is the first one, second, third. Oh, now here I see kind of like they have gaps between them. Okay, I think, let me see. Oh, they don't, okay. Uh, so second, third, fourth is here. So that's not good. Uh, that means that the sixth actually is the four. <laughs> Let me fix it. Okay, so that's the fourth one. And wait, this is the uh, sixth one. And uh, that is the fifth one. Yeah, now it's okay. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six. Good. Now I'll show you in a, you will see in a sec why am I doing it like that. Um, and this one I will delete and what I'm doing now is I will duplicate this one okay and I will give it a name of a expanded which I will do it now yes something like that and this one the collapsed what I'm gonna do now is if you remember we have them all sorry 
we have all of them here actually okay what i will do now is i'm gonna just select all of them and align them to here because i want them to be opened together with the frame kind of like uh, have a you know drop one below the other uh, so let's see how it happens now yeah so on click smart animate 300 milliseconds yes that's okay and um let's do it on the way back to here up to yourself okay so copy and we'll put this one here no we don't need you here so that is oh we have another one kind of like a weird arrow here yeah on click 300 milliseconds and this one is uh, yeah good okay okay so now you see that they do this uh, animation i need to give uh, this one let me see yeah i will turn its background on uh and this one as well so here let's see the difference between both of them okay so this one if you see that the frame just opens and reveals them okay uh, i will do it actually just to show the difference uh i will do it on a 500 milliseconds i'm on purpose doing it slower that we can see it better we can should we can see just this one is a stubborn one <laughs> that we can see just the type of the animation okay good so see this is what it does so that's happening like that great and now you see something like that so they kind of like you know they they just show up one below the other so that's a bit of a different animation okay same component we just arrange them we arrange the elements we set them in a different way and the same component actually is doing two completely different animations okay if you want to make this animation by the way a bit more jumpy then you can add an ease out back and ease out back give it gives it more of an elastic behavior okay it reaches to the end of the animation goes a bit more and comes back so now you're gonna see something like that okay so you give it more of an elastic animation so if you want to do that of course you can and as I said, again, I am not putting uh, so much emphasis or not at all on the look of these elements. I'm just showing the way to do uh, the animation. Okay, good. So that was a uh, second one. And now let's see uh, what is our, yeah, okay. <laughs> just want to see that I didn't do it very big. Okay, so now let's put them one below the other that we will have more uh, order in our file and now the third one actually i'm gonna do the elevator <laughs> these two were the mouth opens as i called it and now it's going to be the elevator let's give it a sorry yeah um I meant 200 <laughs> that was the meaning word where are you here okay so that's a one and this is actually also kind of like a 1.1 1 .1. and that uh, like this yeah and this one is going to be two okay huge numbers yeah okay so the the second one the elevator as i called it is going to be uh, again we're going to use actually the same uh the same menu items i will delete this one and i will duplicate this one and put it here 
So this is the expanded version. Okay, and uh, because this is our end, by the way, I should have, and I forgot, I should have, um, and we can also see actually the, uh, the hover if we want to, so that is pointing up, I should have put it like that. If we want to see, by the way, the hover, which I didn't use it, by the way. Um, so, you know, if you want to, you can just go here and connect this one uh, while hovering. Okay, you change to this one. And from these two, by the way, again, the same thing, while hovering, uh, not 500, it's going to be 200. Yeah, 500 is too much. Uh, something like that okay so now by the way you see that if we hover we can see it actually when we hover on the again this is only on desktop and not on mobile okay so I'm just uh, pointing it out so it works nice and perfect okay good so, um, mm, 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 yes, the second one. So what I did here, and this one again, now I'm going to already point it up. Um, and here, what I am doing actually is I'm selecting all these items. Okay. I am leaving the first one here. And I'm just dragging all of them up to... Here. I'm just dragging them up okay uh, this frame by the way the component frame this one oh I didn't give it a name I will so I'm just closing it like that okay and now we will just see them going up and down because I placed all of them just both here okay I just moved them up um, this variant actually is the collapsed and this is the expanded okay good uh, I will select the first one and I'm connecting it here again on click smart animate I'll give it a 400 milliseconds and here same thing I'm selecting the first one uh, I'll put it here and uh, on click uh, that's okay good so that is the second one copy And I'll put it here. Okay. This is the last one on our row here. So, okay. So that is with the, yeah, with the ease out back and it's too fast. Uh, yeah, I just need to change the animation here. So let's give it an ease out. I will give it also a 500 milliseconds. Basically 300 is good. 400 depends on the case and on the product. Uh, I'm just doing it a bit slower now to see the animation better. And that can stay on 400, that's okay. Uh, so, yeah. So I'm clicking on this one and you see it just uh, elevates down. <laughs> now it elevates up. So that is, uh, oh, that is also the jumpy one. So I'm going to give it an ease out. 400 milliseconds, that's okay. So you see, that is the elevator. So again, we have this one that just opens the frame and reveals these items. We have this one that the items are actually arriving to the scene, one below the other, one after the other. Okay, they're all packed up. Actually, they are all packed up here. And when I click on it, they all fall down, each one to its own place and I gave it kind of an elastic movement here these items are moving up meaning we move them all up and when I click on it they move all down again each case to itself by the way if you do need let's say something like that again depends on the product but sometimes you want to have the menu that opens um, sorry let me open this one a bit. Um, and actually I will cancel the, uh, or just hide its, um, its background for now. And I will select all these guys and just move them a bit down. So sometimes in a product, 
again depends on the case you want to have them like that okay so that's okay there's no problem to do it um, yeah so we can have something oh sorry like that okay so you can have them actually you see lined up like that they even have this small um, one pixel space between them which I didn't do it by the way but it happened naturally which is fine by me for right now but anyway yeah we can plan it better but you can have let's say if you wanna um, if you wanna move them uh, and have them kind of like lined up uh, below the uh, field itself sometimes it just happens also with a search you have a search here and then you open more options and stuff like that so you can also do it like that okay good so uh, that was the second one so we had like two first ones the second one and now we will go for the flashy one and the flashy one what we will do actually I can use the um, this one let me see uh, or maybe this one. yeah I can use the this one basically as a starting for this one okay oh I didn't change their name so this is a mouth opens this is also a mouth opens that was the elevator later and that will be the flashy I think I will give you this file I guess yeah I can give you I will give you a file to uh, to actually uh, you can use these uh, components and uh, you know have it uh, to yourself yeah why not that's okay even with pleasure of course okay so that is going to be our flashy animation so here we're gonna work with more variants so what happens with this animation it's gonna work like that we're gonna work here with after delay and when we open it it's gonna actually jump between uh, one variant to another so let's see how it happens um, okay okay so um, yeah one sorry one two three four five so one two three four five okay good so this is our end game okay this is our end situation and this one actually Look how easy we're gonna set them. This one, I'm going to align with this one, like that. And now these ones, I'm going to align with this one. See how easy and quickly I do that. And um, wait, let me think. Ah, yeah it's okay <laughs> yeah, so I thought I missed one on the way yeah so we have all our states actually here and now is going to happen I will make it happen something like that I'm gonna select the first one and it's already connected to here that's on click smart animate yeah let's give it a 300 milliseconds I guess that's okay uh, if it's gonna be too slow we can adjust it no problem uh, there's always uh, a place to play with the duration. I don't want it a, a jumpy one. You know what? The first one can be jumpy. Okay, let's leave it like that. It is out, so I'm going to give it a 400 milliseconds. Um, and, uh, okay, so now it's going to actually continue uh, with an after delay interaction. It's an after delay. I'm using it to jump automatically between one uh, one frame to another it's one variant each variant actually is a frame but let me say I didn't uh, actually look on their names mm. so that's an expanded you know what let's call it let's call them expanded one and this one will be expanded two and three yeah, I'm just giving them easy names now. Of course, in a the real design system, I will think better how to call it, not like that, but and, and arrange it better. 
but just for the sake of the tutorial okay that's okay so uh let's go back to the prototype from this one we're gonna go here with an after delay of no delay <laughs> after delay without a delay i just want to move automatically from this one to this one um let's give it a uh mm, 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 mm. i'm gonna give it 150 i guess let's see if it's okay i don't remember exactly which numbers uh, with, with with uh which duration i did it on the other one but that's okay uh we're gonna give it an ease out yeah that's fine and we're gonna do that actually over and over again one 150 that's okay yeah we're gonna do it really quickly one and 150 and uh after delay one and 150 okay so they're all hooked up the same way and this one actually uh oh that is connected to here all of them are connected actually which is okay because i don't mind the, all the other ones uh they're gonna jump to the last one anyway so that's okay on click navigate to smart animate let's give it a Eh, 300 milliseconds i think it's okay is out works for me okay let's see now how we are doing that copy and let's put it here no that's not what i meant i just meant to take it here okay <laughs> when they are open so they're they are on it hey, you know what let's close them yeah so this one and this one and okay great <laughs> we are doing great that's good nice you see so it works perfect even i think yeah with the right duration that looks pretty nice good uh so that was the flashy one and by the way yeah just as last for the tutorial i guess yeah i mean i've already talked a lot <laughs> i guess uh that was quite a long one you see um yeah so this is uh, the drop down flashy and what i wanted to show um and again we have by the way we do have you see that hover nice hover interaction on it and again i'm reminding that the hover happens only uh, uh, in desktop and not in mobile um by the way if you do want to see um how i did you know what let's show it quickly We'll show, do it really quickly. Um, I will do it just, I will show just only on one of them. Let's take one. And um, let me uh, create these uh, kind of like hover and click interactions on it. So we have this uh, menu item, which I will call this one uh, default. Um, we can have you know what we are going to do a it's not a no we can do a hover and a click i'm just thinking if it's mobile actually it's only a click of course you know what let's take a mobile situation and make only a click that's okay okay so that's a default and uh sorry i want to do also um mm -mm -mm -mm, yeah I'm going to do, sorry, I'm just kind of like thinking as I talk, <laughs> which is okay. Um, yeah, so I'm going to do this circle here, um, even make it smaller, something like that. Uh, I'll give it a feel of this. Yeah, I guess that's okay. And uh, yeah, actually, we don't need this one. And, um, and I I need to put the ellipse uh, behind the text layer um, and I will copy, I will paste it here, put it below the text, we'll also delete this one from here because we don't need, actually I could just copy this frame, but anyway, I just made myself an extra work, <laughs> small one, and uh, okay, here I'm going to give it a uh, on the pass through, I'm going to give this layer zero opacity. I can, by the way, double tap on my zero on the keyboard, not my zero, on the keyboard zero, double tap, and then it gives it a zero opacity. Another tap on the zero 
brings it back to a hundred percent opacity so that's kind of like a small tip if you're if you're not familiar with it um and here i'm gonna uh, give it kind of like a grayish background slight one something like that and this one actually i want it to be expanded and you know what i'll make it a bit darker yeah I'll make it a bit darker here. Um, I'm thinking if to leave, yeah, I think, let's give it a more. Let's give it like all the way. Let's see how it comes out. I'll give it all the way and I'm gonna duplicate another one. I'm gonna change the names, by the way, this is going to be actually uh, selected. I call it selected one. And this is going to be actually selected, selected two. Because from here, uh, I'm going to make this screen, uh, sorry, this circle. I'm going to make it smaller and take it to here and give it opacity zero something like that so what i'm what i want to create it actually is that when i click on this menu item oh and now i need to make it a component create a component set this is going to be a menu item and when i click on this one it's going to go not to the circle this is a scroll to action by the way it's going to go here and um it's gonna go here on click. We're gonna have a smart animate 300 milliseconds. I think it's okay. We will see if it's uh, fast, too fast or too slow. We'll give it a, a try now. And uh, from here, I wanted to move on with an after delay. After delay of 300 milliseconds, it's, it's all together like i'm gonna do it with no delay here just for the automatic movement between them um meaning changing between them um i think it's all together it's 600 milliseconds let's see if it's too long too short i think it's too long by the way but let me try it let me see how it goes and by clicking on this one we are going to deselect it and bring it back to here smart animate uh, 200 milliseconds even a dissolve is gonna work good here in my opinion um, okay let's see how it goes so copy um, and I'm gonna put it here yeah let's just put it here and let's see what we have hmm nice okay and then I click and deselect it so it's gonna so it's making this animation um, Hmm. Okay, by the way, it's do it's doing something weird there. Let me see these circles. Okay, so that is an ellipse 5 and this is an ellipse 5 below the text and here uh, ellipse 5 is below the text. Yeah, but it's kind of like, I don't know, flipping or doing something weird. I want to delete it from here and sorry, taking this circle from here, copy. I'm going to put it here and i want to animate it again maybe something happened to it maybe i flipped it maybe something here went on with it so i'm going to put it here make it doesn't matter i'm going to do it a bit of a different size and opacity zero okay let's see now what happens yeah now it's good now it's happening in the right way so yeah that's good i think it's a bit too slow by the way um here i'm gonna give it a 300 milliseconds you know what let's make it kind of like 200 here and 200 here uh yeah i don't want it to be too long let me see okay hmm. okay so now yeah it's it's kind of like a <laughs> it needs to be a bit longer 300 and yeah so it's kind of like a long one but let me see yeah that's okay good so we have something like that great okay so this is how we do it and of course we can uh, take uh, use this menu item and uh, change uh, all of them you know for this menu item so they can be selectable 
and so on and uh, that's how you do this animation i mean this is how i did it here by the way um just to show you again yeah so here yeah that's basically it kind of like yeah so we did it there a bit of a different way but anyway that's the thing and you can select of course more of uh more uh, more of one uh, you can select a few ones together that's what i'm trying to say uh and i can just take this uh menu item and change and change it with each one of them and then it will work properly okay guys so that was a kind of a long one but we covered a lot of ways to animate um <laughs> we had the real work here uh to animate uh, a drop down menu so we showed actually uh, four ways to do it uh, so we covered quite a lot and i hope this tutorial was good and helpful and as i told you again i didn't put any emphasis at all on the design of these elements i just wanted to show basically or be more focused on the animation itself than the actually designing these items um, I'm gonna do another tutorial on easing. I started touching it here, but I will do uh, more of um, um, basic tutorial or maybe basic slash uh, more advanced tutorial on easing and see exactly how to work with it. Uh, and that's it guys. So thank you so much. I hope it was helpful. Uh, I would appreciate a like if you like this tutorial. And of course, uh, I would be very happy if you subscribe to my channel if you are not already. Uh, thanks a lot. See you in the next tutorial. Bye for now.